Hello Minh, are you there? Ờ, Minh ơi, mình bật... <cười> ok. Right, good afternoon. How are you today? Ok, and I'm not so good because I have a cough. Oh, you're, you're not also good because you have, you have a cough. Yes. Oh. Ok, is it a bad cough? Not really. Oh, not really. Uh, I think it is because of the cold weather in uh, in Hanoi right now, right? Yes, it is um, under 10 degrees. Oh, under 10 degrees. Is it under 10 degrees all the time from morning till night? Or is there any moment of the day that it is higher than 10 degrees? Uh, I think all the day because I see the, the, the forecast. They say that... Uh, uh, I know it will be very cold about um, five days. Oh, about yeah, five days. Oh, okay. Yes. That is really interesting. So uh, is, uh, is the weather cold around this time of the year? Like every year, is it cold around this time? Or no. it's it, it just says, oh, oh, no. So you mean that only this year that is this cold? No, it's... Uh, it's usually it's cold in like in December and in like spring, yeah. Hmm. When, well, this month, yes, February. Oh, right. Okay, around this month, so around February. So, okay, yeah. I see. Well, because I asked you that, is it always around this time of year that the weather becomes colder? Uh, and so you said no. So I thought that, oh my God, so meaning that only this year that the weather is this cold? Hmm. Right. So yeah. can so can you make a comment? Okay. Please, please, please talk. Um, I have I have heard that in, in like uh, in Ho Chi Minh City only have two seasons, like um, rainy season and hot season. Okay. Uh, rainy season and dry season, something like that. Mùa mưa và mùa khô, right? Rainy season yeah. and dry season. So it means that whenever it's not raining, it is super hot in the day, quite cool in the night. See, that, that's the schedule. So when the rainy season comes in the morning, it is not as hot. But when the afternoon comes, the sky will turn black and it will rain from about 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Right, so that is what the rainy season is all about in Ho Chi Minh City. Only two seasons. And they, and they say that um, the temperature in uh, Ho Chi Minh City is um, not really cold. It's usually hot, right? Because we're in the south. We're in the south, so yeah. we never feel cold. It, not like we never feel cold. We only feel cold uh, in around uh december or early february that's it um the oh. temperature around that time usually drop to uh like 15 no no not 15 around 18 or 20 degree is the lowest 18 oh. or 20 is the lowest you see like 18 to 20 is quite cool in hanoi but no it's quite cold in uh, in in the south it's quite cold oh. in the south see like um, yeah, so that is what winter feels like to us. But aside from that, nothing else, nothing else uh, really uh, happened uh, about the coldness. But if you want to say, if you want to talk about the hot weather in the South, I will tell you. Uh, like yes. <laughs> at noon, the temperature will be around uh, 35, 35 degree. Uh, the hottest days are around 36, 36. Yeah, so you can imagine that uh, the hot weather, the scorching hot weather, plus uh, the fact that we don't plant a lot of trees on the road in Saigon, right? Uh, a lot of uh, traffic pollution, a lot of uh, tall buildings, right? So you can feel how hot and how humid it is. See? <laughs> right. So what, is, uh, so what about uh, in in the in the north in hanoi is it true that there are four seasons there do you feel yes. the difference between four seasons yes um four seasons have their um their own 
um, climate that yeah. open on their own temperature. Uh, in spring, um, sometimes it's um, cold, like today. It's really cold, like today. And um, when is um, when when it's nearly like summer, the weather will turn like very hot. It will turn not very hot. Mm. Um, in the temperature is usually around like uh, yeah, 40, 40 degrees in the highest day. Oh, 40 degrees, like the highest day, the hottest days are yeah. around 40 degrees. Okay, yeah. so uh, 40 degrees outside or inside your house? <laughs> outside or inside your house? Outside, yeah, outside the house. In, okay. If the place has like, they have a lot of tree, is the temperature will be lower. Mm. And you feel, you feel like it's really cool. Uh, it's really, yeah, I make see, you I feel see. very com comfortable. Comfortable. Okay, I see. Right. So how about the fall? This is the fall season? Uh, the, the first season is spring. The second is summer. And the third is autumn. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Autumn, I think, uh, the perfect temp weather because... um. Is the, the temperature is like cool, nearly about um, 22 to 25 degrees. And is um and the rain in autumn is not like big, it's just small and it doesn't rain in a long time. So people spend um uh, people uh, spend time out going in autumn the most. Oh, okay. So they spend time going out in the autumn the most. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. And winter? I think winter is, uh, as you know, is cold. But in not, but it's not really cold all the time. Sometimes the temperature will be like high, like in autumn. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I think the coded person cold is um season is uh spring. Oh. Yeah, it's spring. Winter is just cold, but not really cold. It's like the temperature is like doesn't change in the in the season. Um. So I think for the fact that the winter is not the coldest season because when spring comes, there are two things that comes along with spring. First is the wind, second is the rain, right? Wind yes. and rain comes in spring. Like it happens often, more often in, during spring. So uh, with the temperature dropping uh, from uh, like around, from around 15 now dropping down under 10, like plus yes. the rain and plus the wind, it becomes coldest. It becomes the coldest season of the year. Yes. Right, it's so, okay. Um, I also heard that there's this kind of uh, like there, there's this kind of situation happening in Hanoi right now. Uh, is that uh, when you wake up, your house suddenly becomes kind of wet and sticky? Is that right? Yes, yes. In especially in uh, um, um, yes, in spring. It's also spring because. The temperature is uh will decrease uh, increase normal equal right normal no I, I I know that word in Vietnamese but I have never heard that kind of condition in English so I don't know yes. exactly what it is right I'm just trying to figure out how that works like through your through your story meaning that uh like the house become wet and sticky because the temperature is gradually rising. Right? Yes. It's gradually rising. Uh, kiểu như nhiệt, nhiệt độ tăng lên từ từ cho nên kiểu như những cái hơi hơi lạnh mà nó, hơi lạnh nó bắt đầu tay nó thành nước ý là vậy hả? Yes, and when you walk in the forest, like you will see that like you will walk in the water because it's yeah it's wet. Ah, uh, okay. So what I'm imagining is this: like 
uh, before there are, uh, before the weather was super cold and the air is like uh, cold air is everywhere, right? Cold air is everywhere, but the temperature rising, making the cold air melt, right? Making the cold air melt. So it becomes water droplets. Water droplets, là những cái giọt nước đúng không? It become water droplets. So uh, because it is becoming water droplets, it drops down on your floor. It stay, it stays on the walls. So that is why uh, the uh, the house is always wet and sticky during this season, right? Yes, yes, that's right. Ah, uh, okay. Is it is it uncomfortable for you though? <laughs> yes, it's really uncomfortable because you will feel like very like annoying uh, I don't know why yes I don't know why but you feel like it's annoying uh, okay so usually what will you do to avoid this situation or there's nothing you can do <laughs> then I think we can't do anything because it's it's, it's, it's belong to the environment uh, okay it belongs to the nature so it it yeah, it's different nature Yeah, this happened. Uh, like this had already happened like long time ago, so there's no way to avoid it, right? Yes. Ah, uh, okay. I see. Well, right. So this is one of the reason why I think weather the weather in the north is kind of uh, annoying and difficult to handle at the same time. <laughs> yes. Right. Uh, but well, like if you live in the north and you look at the weather in the south, you will think that, oh my God, uh, the south weather is so cool. I wish I could live there. But from my, uh, from my perspective, as someone who lives in the south, uh, I think that the weather in the north is not that difficult to live with, especially when you have cold weather, right? You live in the south, you, you feel that, oh my God, it's so hot all the time. So whenever there are whenever there's a change of weather condition like the temperature dropping, it feels a lot nicer. Yeah, a lot nicer. So that is why I wish to live in a place that has cool air and cold air sometimes. Right. Okay. Thank you for sharing your story with me. Right. Uh, we're uh, we're live in like uh, the weather in the south is. Uh, gradually changing to uh, the rainy season right now, as I as I can see, because it has been raining two days in a row. It has been raining two days in a row. But the problem with the rainy season here is that the weather will become super super hot before it rains, right? Cái cái thời tiết nó trở nên cực kỳ nóng ẩm trước khi mà nó 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 mưa theo cái kiểu là uh, trời oi ấy oi ấy. Oi ẻ, nắng oi ẻ đến trước khi nó mưa. Right, so it is super uncomfortable uh, when it rains uh, around uh, March or February. Uh, uh, rainy season uh, in the summer or rainy season uh, before uh, before autumn is kind of more like acceptable. Right, okay. Right, so have you ever heard of the position and order of adjectives? Right. So imagine in a sentence, you have uh, two or three adjectives, right? You have two or three adjectives that you can use to describe something or a person, right? And how will you know what should you should put first, right? How will you know what you should put first? Yes, to be. To, to be. be, right. Okay, so that is not the that is not what we're trying to talk about right here. Uh, Have you ever heard of Osakam? Yes, yes, yes. Ah, uh, okay. Osakam is more easy to recognize, huh? Osakam, right? So whenever people talk about Osakam, they are talking about position and order of adjective, right? Right. So in a sentence, you are allowed to use more than one adjective to describe a. Uh, an object uh, để mô tả một vật thì mình được phép sử dụng nhiều hơn một tính từ. But uh, each adjective has their own category, right? Has their own uh, purpose. Mỗi tính từ nó đều có một mục đích của nó. Ví dụ như tính từ này mô tả cái tính chất gì, mô tả cái loại đặc điểm gì, right? They're not the same. Right? So how can we put them in the correct order, or do we have any order at all? The answer is yes, we do have an order like a position uh, organization for adjectives, right? We call it OSACOM. Okay? 
So, uh, so usually, usually you will see sentences that use like two or three adjectives at most. Nhiều nhất là từ hai đến ba tính từ thôi, right? But in like like in a very rare occasion, you will see uh, a sentence using a full set of osacom adjective. Đó một cái câu nó sử dụng tất cả các cái vị trí của osacom luôn. Thì nó nó hơi um, it, it's kind of difficult and kind of rare to happen. So you don't don't really need to be uh, worried about that too much. Is that okay? Right. Okay. So for also come order because you have learned it at school. I'm just going to quickly review it. Okay. Right. Also come the first letter O stands for opinion. Right. The first letter O stands for opinion. Right. So what do you think about this object? What do you think about this object? Object. Is it good? Is it bad? Right. Is it beautiful? Is it ugly? So it it is based on your opinion about an object. That is O. Right. Cái này là liên quan đến cái quan điểm ý tưởng, uh, cái quan điểm ý kiến của mình thì mình đặt đầu tiên. Right. Next is size. Right. Size là kích cỡ thì dễ rồi. To, nhỏ, đúng không? To, nhỏ. Rồi. Age là, age là về cái độ tuổi. Ví dụ như là nó là old nè hay là new nè. Đó. Shape. Shape là hình dáng. Hình dáng thì mình có thể kiểu uh, vuông, tròn, sắc, nhọn hay là gấp phụ gì, khớp, là khúc phụ gập gần. That's like the shape. The color, easiest, cái màu, cái màu là cái dễ nhất. Origin, cái nguồn gốc của nó ở đâu, được làm từ nước nào, được sản xuất từ nước nào. Và nói đến cái material là nói đến cái nguyên liệu sản xuất cho cái cái đó. Và cuối cùng là cái purpose, vật này được sử dụng vào mục đích gì. For example, I say we have a swimming glasses, right? So swimming glasses are glasses used for swimming. Swimming at the, in that situation, works as an uh, adjective meaning the purpose adjective right teacher okay do you think this is easy enough to understand yes okay thank you right there are some adjectives that we do not usually put before a noun We can use them after a linking verb or use another adjective with a similar meaning. Right. He lived a lonely life without many friends. Right. He lived an alone life without many friends. Right. So you see that alone here, meaning uh, like only one person. You're alone here, like uh, the state of uh, being, being with only one person. Right. The state that only one person is existing. Đó là cái trạng thái mà chỉ có một người tồn tại thôi. Thì đó là một mình. Vậy thì cái một mình alone này nó có khác với lonely không? Yes. Right, they are very different. So, uh, like based on based on the description of the based on the description of the lesson right here, we need to uh, be careful with the linking verb or something like that. But I just say that you Or translate them into Vietnamese, you will see the difference. And you cannot use lonely before life because of the, the meaning. Lonely nghĩa là cô đơn, một cuộc sống cô đơn, right? So alone ở đây là một cuộc sống một mình. That is not right. We have to use lonely. Right. Anh ấy sống một mình. He lives, he lives alone. Not he lives like he lives a lonely life. Not he lives a lonely life. Something like that. Right. There were dozens of fans who were upset. There were dozens of disappointed fans. There were dozens of upset fans, right? So this is kind of a special situation. Like upset cannot stand in front of, in front of, um, like not in, cannot stand in front of a noun. It is used uh, like especially for describing uh, a person's feeling. Right, cái từ upset này chỉ được sử dụng để mô tả cái uh, cái cảm xúc của người nào đó thôi cho nên là mình nên sử dụng nó đằng sau động từ to be hay là đằng sau cái động từ feel. Someone feel upset or see she is upset. Right? Đúng không? Yes. Okay. Right. Okay, so find all the adjectives in the message board. Do they come before a noun or after a linking verb? Right, or after a linking verb. Right, okay. Yes. 
Okay, so now, can you see the message board? There are three messages here. Please find the, the adjective that is that are before a noun first. Which adjectives are standing before a noun? Uh, in the first paragraph, I see the word talent, talented, and you, young, talented, young. Uh, huge huge okay huge. is it huge or hunger right huge okay huge, 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 huge in the, in the, huge second, in the second right okay look at uh, the first <laughs> paragraph again you're missing something <laughs> it's a selfless right? selfless okay selfless. right selfless yeah right anything else uh okay anything else i don't think so right so move on to paragraph two. We have the first word that has been noticed. That is huge, right? Good job. Yes. Huge is standing before the, the noun movie. Good. What else? Uh, the second paragraph. Yeah, okay. There are there, there are still more oh. adjectives in the in the second paragraph. It's wearing. What is it? Wearing, wearing of her, oh. uh, did you see the picture of her wearing baggy? Okay, so is it wearing or baggy? That is the adjective here. Mm -hmm. The thing is wearing baggy white trousers. Adjectives, uh, the adjectives here are only, only, okay, she's great. We forgot this, sorry. She's great, we, oh. we forgot, okay. Đúng không? Mình quên mất cái, cái great before a noun, before a noun. Oh, cái này, cái này nó bị lộn rồi. Um, after a linking verb, yeah. after oh. a linking verb. Rồi, cái này nó đang bị thiếu cái gì nào? Ok. Rồi, stunning, stunning này đang là ở đằng sau cái linking, linking verb. Hoa siêu nữ mình sẽ quay lại sau. Đây, cái chỗ này mà cô nói này, mình này. Baggy white, those are the adjectives. Wearing is not an adjective in this situation, ok? Rồi, uh, ok. Did you see those pictures of her wearing baggy white trousers and silver shoes? Silver. That we also have one more adjective that is silver. silver. Good job. Right, silvers. And uh, we still have something like amazing here. Amazing is after linking verb. After linking verb. Right. Next, we have the word, uh, the adjective yeah, no, annoyed. Yeah, annoyed. annoyed. That is standing after a linking verb. Here, I yeah. get, đúng không? I get after a linking verb, I get. Rồi. Self Self-satisfied. Self-satisfied. Rồi. Self-satisfied yeah. before Huge a noun. Murders. Huge so, more than, uh, dang, uh, behind, before a noun, sorry, before a noun. Right. Her young children, children. is is before, before a noun. Oh, good. Right, anything else? Think right. Okay, hey, look again at the adjectives that come before a noun in tab six. Match them with categorize, say, size, age, color, right? Uh, in the learn this box. Okay, so mean it means that you have a box right here. You have to put each adjective you see right here into the correct category to follow the asacom adjective order yeah right so for the first one talented where should you put the talented talented hmm. i think that i put it in proposed Purpose, 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 purpose. Là, purpose là mục đích nhớ nha mình nha. Purpose là mục đích tức là cái vật đó sinh ra có tác dụng gì hay được dùng vào mục đích gì đó. Right. So remember, we are using this to uh, cái những cái từ này xuất hiện ở bài vừa rồi là đang mô tả một cái cô người nổi tiếng tên là Jennifer Lawrence. So maybe, maybe we won't be able to use it, uh, use any adjective that is listed in the purpose column, đúng không? Rồi. Mine, my answer is we should put it in the opinion column. 
cái cột opinion là rất quan trọng này uh, mình này tức là mình nghĩ về một người đúng không người đó xinh đẹp người đó giỏi giang người đó tài năng hay người đó tệ bạc người đó uh, như là xấu xa gì đó thì đều đó đều là cái opinion của mình cả thấy chưa mình nghĩ về người đó như thế nào mình có cảm nhận gì về người đó và cái chữ talented này đây có nghĩa là tài năng thì mình nghĩ rằng cô đó tài năng thì mình đưa nó vào cái cột opinion là đúng nhất rồi được chưa right Okay, so we we're done with the word talented. We had the word young already. So how about selfless? Selfless. I don't know. Maybe Just is yes. is is in purpose a purpose purpose in purpose in purpose. Let's see again oh, opinion what? right selfless oh. meaning that you don't care about yourself you care about the others right and yes. you, because of because of your action people think that you are selfless đó đúng không vậy thì nhờ có cái hành động của mình đó mà người ta mới nghĩ mình là selfless đó là uh, rất là quan tâm đến mọi người một người có đức tính gọi là hy sinh đúng không selfless một người có đức tính hy sinh right next huge in size size okay quite easy good baggy uh, baggy <laughs> this is quite this is quite difficult for you baggy didn't understand the word baggy though baggy no but i will put it in shape okay you put it in shape right i will put it in size <laughs> right Okay, you know that I don't. I don't think you understand the word baggy. So, for example, um, girls usually like to wear men's clothes because they are baggy, and because they are baggy, it is more comfortable than wearing tight clothes. Okay, do you understand? Right, girls usually likes to wear boy clothes because they are very baggy. Right, M meaning that uh, they make the girls feel super comfortable right the clothes does not stick to the body or make the body feel like feel so tight like this right it's actually quite baggy right baggy ở đây sẽ là rộng vậy thì nói về việc rộng thì chính là size là kích cỡ quần áo yeah. yes. right okay now you know so about how about white white is in color white in color very good silver yeah. The silver is in uh, material. Right. Okay. So you might be tricked here. Let's see. You might be tricked here. See, <laughs> I know you might be tricked right here. There are there are two meanings for the word silver. Silver, if it's material, is is kind of the material that creates your bracelet or necklace. Được chưa? Nó là cái cái vật liệu mà cái cái vật liệu đá quý mà làm nên cái vòng cổ này dây chuyền thì đó là bằng bạc. Được chưa? Bằng bạc. Còn silver, mình có màu bạc mà mình. Yes, we do have the color silver, right? Uh, it is it is the color that is not made entirely of silver. Nobody put a real silver in it. Không có ai bỏ cái chất cái cái cái, cái, cái viên đá bạc thật vô trong cái màu cả mà nó chỉ có cái màu nó ánh bạc lên như là cái của cái viên bạc thật thôi. So we call that the silver color. Right. Next, self satisfied. And he is in opinion opinion okay opinion let let's go that is opinion self satisfied rồi tự mãn được chưa self satisfied tự thỏa mãn với bản thân thì mình rút gọn lại thành tiếng việt có từ tự mãn okay and modern modern i think is in <coughs> opinion too opinion too let's see <laughs> it's in age because modern meaning oh. new modern meaning new <laughs> Modern meaning new, so that is not uh below that that does not belong in opinion. It belongs in age, right? So we talk about something that is either new or old. You have to check their meaning so to see if it is related to old or new in any way. Exactly. Mình phải kiểm tra nghĩa coi xem nó có liên quan đến cái cái mới, cái cũ, cái già, cái trẻ theo một cách nào đó không. Ví dụ như cô có từ này, hàng à, mình biết từ này không? Cổ đại ancient right ancient cổ đại thì nó đang nằm vào nhóm nào age age that's right because it's related to the word old đúng không 
ancient meaning very very old and uh, the opposite of that we have modern meaning very very new right so we have old and new in the in the definition so we put it in age right age does not relate it to the the like uh, the year of life a, a person have it also talk about a year of life an object have right okay Okay, task eight, complete the sentences with the adjectives in brackets in the correct order. Right, so do you, uh, do you have the correct order for osacoms already? I will show you again in, uh, in case you forgot. And yes, I understand. Uh, I remember it. Okay, you sure you remember? Yes, yes. Okay, if you remember, then we're going to start. Right. Okay. Number one, my favorite director's <clears throat> latest film is about a. Uh, John Wayne Proto. Wow, I can read it. This is the part. Portuguese, uh, Portuguese. <laughs> Port yes, a John Wayne Portuguese musician. Okay, let's see. A vain young Portuguese, right? Vain, vain oh, here yeah. belongs to the opinion. <coughs> it's, yeah, it's a opinion, right? Vain here, cái như là một cái ngưng, con người mà kiểu theo vô vọng với một con người khá là vô vọng. Rồi, young là trẻ thì đang là ở trong cái cột mà uh, age đúng không? Right? Young trẻ trong cái cột age và Portuguese là cái cột mà uh, origin. Đó thì all trong origin, mà origin thì đứng sau những cái này, right? Vain young Portuguese musician. Right, vain here, uh, kind of like someone who is hopeless, who is hopeless. Right, the interview was wearing a... Uh, long white Japanese dress. Long no, no, no. white Japanese dress. So long, long is in the, the shape or size. Shape. Right, long is shape, right? Long is shape. Red is... Uh, white is color. Okay, white is Japanese. color. It is origin. Right, at Japanese is origin. So we have uh okay, so let's see. So you said it is uh long, long white Japanese <coughs> dress. Long white Japanese dress, good job. Okay, long white Japanese dress. Okay, next the lead singer always appears on stage in, in a in a um ridiculous red massive wig. Ridiculous red massive. Red, um, are you uh, sure? What massive, massive? Where, massive. where should we put it? What category is it? I think it's in shape. Shape? No. Do you understand the word massive though? <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not really. Not really. So imagine, uh, like, okay, let's see. It's in like uh, size. Yeah, so imagine it like so. Imagine this is a, a person head, and this is like her wig. So that so her wig is massive. Her wig is massive, right? So oh. it's it's in, in size. Size is the correct size. answer. So right. it's ridiculous, massive red wig. Right, ridiculous, massive red hair. This is more correct. Good job. Right. My dream is to buy. Buy um a black. No, no, uh, uh, 1960 black Italian motorbike. Okay, because you see that 1960 here, you refer it to age, right? Age. You refer to age. Black is for color and this is for origin, right? Good job. Okay, so 1960 black Italian motorbike, right? As a child, he used to live in a... An ugly modern house. An outside. ugly modern house. Yeah. Okay, good job. Ugly modern house. Because ugly is opinion and opinion always goes first. Modern is like age, right? We'll talk about this because it is very, very new. And if we have new in the meaning, it is put in the word age. <clears throat> Sorry. Right. Okay, do you have any question for this? No. No, okay. Quite easy for you. All right. 
match the adjective with similar meaning to make pairs. So we're going to make synonyms pair. Okay, we're going to make synonym pairs. Mình sẽ tìm những cái cặp đồng nghĩa ở đây. We already have the first one, which is afraid and frightened. Okay, so can you tell me the other of the pairs? Pairs alive and live. Alive and live. Live. Okay, so if you pronounce is at live, you're pronouncing the, the verb form. Live is the verb. The adjective is live. Okay, remember, it is very important. You make, you, you make sure you know the difference between a, the verb and the adjective of this. Verb is live. Adjective is live. Đúng không? Adjective live nghĩa là đang trực tiếp. Nó đang trực tiếp. Còn cái mà live có nghĩa là động từ đang sinh sống ở đâu đó. Được chưa, Minh? Yes. Ok. Ok. Ok, we have one pair that is alive and alive and live. Right, so next. I guess. Alone and lonely. Alone and lonely. Right. So we, we make a pair, but it is not exactly the same meaning. Okay, it's exactly not exactly the same meaning. Okay, next. Yes, angry and annoyed. Angry and annoyed. Okay, annoyed. makes sense. Next. Yes, as asleep and sleeping. Asleep and sleeping. Okay, next. We only have one left that is glad and happy, uh, and right? Happy. Yes. Okay. Right, so when you're describing someone that is already sleeping, you use the adjective asleep, right? She's asleep, which is, that is more convenient to say, okay? Yes. Right, angry and annoyed. Okay, so you can say that they have the same meaning, but for me, they have a little bit different here. Angry is that like you start to yell, you start to uh, hit someone, you start to break stuff inside your house. Annoyed is that? Uh, you feel angry only a teeny tiny bit inside yourself. All right, that is annoyed. Okay. All right. Write the adjectives in the correct order. So the adjectives are here in the brackets. Can you read the whole sentence? Uh, sentence with your answer here. This cafe service some tasty. Spanish dishes. Okay, good job. Right, but the word served here, you don't say service. Just say serves. Serves. Sure. Okay. That's right. Sure. Serve. Okay. This cafe served some state tasty Spanish dishes. That's all. Right. Next. He used to own a big black. No, a scary big black, black dog. A scary big black dog. Okay, that is correct because scary is the opinion. That, that's the thing you think about someone. Okay, right. Have you seen that? Have you seen that? A funny new Mexican film yet? That's right, funny new Mexican film yet. Okay, now you're getting used to it and faster now. Good job. Right, four. We watch as a huge silver moon rose in the sky. Okay, we watched <laughs> as a huge silver, silver moon rose in the sky. Right, so why is there a, a word as right here? Why is there a word as right here? It's, it's like, um, uh, you. You, you, no, no, it's not like you. We watch as a, uh, pro, like, uh, like it, it is, it's trying to describe some uh, two things, two things that are happening at the same time, right? It's trying to describe something that is happening at the same time. So the first action is that we watch, right? The second action is the, the moon rose in, in the sky, right? Two action happening at the same time, but it is not continuing. Nó không có tiếp diễn. Nó không có tiếp diễn. Tức là người ta chỉ nhắc đến nó thôi. Đó, người ta chỉ nhắc và mô tả, mô tả nó là 
đã xảy ra vào thời điểm đó thôi chứ người ta không có nhắc nó trong tình trạng là tiếp diễn tức là người ta không có ngồi một lúc lâu đó hoặc là người ta cái mặt trăng nó cũng không có đi lên từ từ song song chạy theo đó nó chỉ là hai cái chấm nó tồn tại trên hai cái mặt phẳng song song thôi something like that right five the woman the woman was holding a tiny young baby a tiny young baby okay are you sure about that tiny shape or size Tiny. tiny is in size. Yeah, yeah, tiny is in size. Tiny is in size. Size. tiny no, young yeah. baby. Okay, good job. Tiny young baby. Right, six. Who owns that? Who owns that? Uh, new red French car over there. New red French car over there. Okay, good job. Right. Okay. So, can you tell me the truth? Are you following the author com or are you just thinking, well, whichever that uh, that sounds the most convincing to you? Wait. When is like um listening, listen to people saying it um a lot, and it's make me like I speak English and I listen to it, so I can knew that it's. Mm. It's also like you're not following Osaka, like yeah, not literally. Really. Yeah, you're not really following Osaka. You're just following your instinct. <laughs> Let's yes, help so my experience in yes. Okay, you're following your experience. Okay, that is good. Um, so well, following your experience is also good, but sometimes when you face situation that requires you to explain, it's going to be difficult for you, right? You need to have a A firm understanding mình có mình cần có một cái nền tảng vững chắc để sau này phải như là ai có vặn vẹo mình thì mình còn còn nhớ. Right. So that is what happening to me right now. I used to really like uh, remember the Osakom's uh, position order very well, but uh, as time goes by, I don't usually look at Osakom that often. I just use my own experience to do any kind of test like this. Right. The test results were awesome, but whenever some people ask me why, why are you, uh, why did you know that? I was like, I don't know. My grandpa, uh, like my ancestor, told me that. Ông bà tổ tiên mách bảo. Right. Okay. Underline the correct adjective to complete the sentences. Okay. So we just made, uh, like we just created some pairs, some adjective pairs that share the similar meanings. Right. Now we need to we need to make sure that we understand them very uh very well to put them in the correct situation. All right, number one, can you read your whole sentence for me? My grandmother lived on her own, but she's not a lonely person. Okay, she's not a lonely person. Good job. Two. Have you heard the expression less this sleeping does lie? Okay, I've never seen, <laughs> I've never heard of the expression like that. Let sleeping those, ah, let, let sleeping those lie. Okay, so I will have to check on that. Just like, oh, let, let sleeping dogs lie. Let sleeping dogs lie. Oh. Right. Okay, so this, this 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 expression is used to say to warn someone that they should not talk about a bad situation that most people have forgotten about. Right, like it, it means that it means that let the past be the past, something like that. Let the past be the past. Don't try to uh, mention those things anymore. Hoặc là mình có thể nói theo kiểu tiếng Việt là đừng có đào mộ những cái chuyện cũ lên nữa. Đã đừng có lôi những cái chuyện cũ ra nữa mọi người đã quên hết rồi. Right, let sleeping dogs. This is dogs and not dogs. Dogs lie. Okay, next three. The, the main character in this book is an annoyed man, angry man at the beginning. Okay, so which do you think is more correct, annoyed or angry? I think both, but I would choose angry. Okay, let's see. Angry is more correct. Angry is more correct. See, angry describe the the personality of people. Đúng không? Angry not only describe the people stealing, but also describe the personality. 
cảm xúc và tính cách là hai cái trường à, hai cái khái niệm khác nhau nha mình nhé cảm xúc và tính cách là hai cái khác nhau trong khi đó ở noi chỉ được sử dụng chủ yếu trong trường hợp nào cảm xúc hay tính cách cảm xúc cảm xúc là nhiều hơn đúng không chính mình chưa bao giờ thấy bảo là ô oh, cái 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 sự mà cảm thấy khó chịu này nó là cái à, cái tính cách của một người nào cả nhưng trong khi đó angry còn đóng vai trò là một cái tính từ mô tả tính cách nữa vậy thì ở đây cái người này người đàn ông đúng không người này sẽ có cái tính cách là là giận dữ chứ không phải là có cái cảm giác khó khó chịu đó vậy the main character in this book is an angry man at the beginning number four sadly her only alive relative live in Australia. Re alive <cười> relative. This is relative, not related. Relative. Re relative. Okay, remember, we're, we're trying to fix this word every time new students come into my class. They always read this as relative. No, no, they, they always read it as relative. Okay. I understand your problem, but like, <laughs> it's very, it's very difficult to fix this word. I don't know why. Okay. Um, sadly, her mm -hmm. only living relatives live in Australia. Right. So we don't use alive here. Um, alive is used for uh, describing like creatures that are moving, creatures that are moving and breathing. Creatures that are yes. moving for, uh, sorry, used, for, used to describe creatures that are moving and breathing. And living, living used to, uh, are mostly used for uh, human, human. That is more appropriate here. Right. Next, number five. They were glad parents when their son got home safely. They were glad parents when their son got home safely. Okay, again. Okay, again. Okay, let's see. I don't think that's the correct answer. I think they were happy parents. They were glad. Glad parents is not good here. They were happy yeah. parents when their son got home safely. Uh, okay, I really don't know how to explain this situation, but like my instinct, my ancestor is telling me that happen, happy is more correct in this situation. And nobody used glad Uh, before or now like nobody used glad before or now when they got parents or they the mom right uh no it's not a verb it's, if it's if, if, if it's a verb then how can we say this i'm i'm glad to help yeah. i'm glad to help if glad is a verb we cannot use glad in this situation but uh like english allows english allows this to happen right english allows this to happen so glad is not a verb here it is an adjective but glad is a special case it cannot stand before before a noun it can only follow a an adjective it can only follow an adjective right so like they were happy parent is more correct here right oh uh, and uh, and the situation in number four is the same living relative alive relative so we see that alive is al also means that uh breathing and moving at the same time but uh, alive cannot stand in front of a, an adjective it can only stand after after a uh, after a, a a to be a to be sorry <laughs> right number six someone's out to help that Frightened child. Frightened child. Good job. Afraid cannot stand in front of an adjective. It can only stand after uh, a, a, a to be. It can, it, can only, it can only stand after to be in a sentence. Frightened. Yes, frightened can stand in front of a noun. Okay, is that okay? Yes. Thank you. All right. Underline the correct word to complete the sentences. Sometimes both are possible. Okay, so we move on to the next level where we where we can choose both answers. Where we can choose both answer. Okay, so let's try. This is the last. This is the last exercise we have. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Test test twelve is the last exercise we have. Okay. Let's go. Right. Test two. Ten. 
10 happy winners have shared this week's lottery prize. Good job, right? Like I said, glad cannot stand in front of a in front of a noun. It can only stand after a linking verb or a to be. Is that okay? Right. So we see winner here and we see a happy, we see glad. Winner is a noun. Glad cannot stand here. Happy is the only choice. Two. The woman was disappointed because the noise of the noise work her sleeping baby. Oh, work her sleeping baby. Good job. A sleep here can only stand after a, a to be verb, like after, like, uh, yeah. A sleep can only stand after to be. So you see the word baby here is a noun. Uh, and sleep and uh, sleeping is the only choice that can stand in front of baby. However, the, the first answer here, I don't think you're correct. I don't think you're correct. Because they have different meaning. They have different meaning. Disappointed and upset. Right, disappointed, thất vọng và upset là hơi bực mình một chút nha. Mình để coi có đúng không nào. Uh, okay, so both disappointed oh. and upset can can work in this situation. Right, so both you and I are wrong because I only chose upset because based on the meaning, disappointed is not good in this one. I chose upset. But they said grammatically speaking, both of them are, are able to stand uh, after, after a to be verb. Right. Right. Three. A 90 years old French actor was has won a, an award at the Cannes Film Festival. OK, so let's see. We have the word actor mm -hmm. here is a noun. Brilliant or French or both brilliant and French can stand in front of the word actor. Both, maybe both. OK, maybe both. And the answer is only French. <laughs> yeah. Okay, a 19-year-old brilliant actor. Uh, okay, so I because brilliant can only stand uh, like after a to be, so yeah, French, yes. French is the only choice right here. Right. Okay, four. The, the, there are, the, th th there are, there are. There are some huge gray clouds in the distance. Okay, nasty meaning disgusting. Nasty meaning disgusting. Gray is a color. So, in your opinion, can we use both or can we can just use gray? We can only use gray. gray. Yes, okay, gray. We, we can only use gray. Let's see. Okay, there are some yes. uh, there are some huge gray clouds in the distance. Right. Good. Next, some well-known people have quite alone or lonely lives. Alone, yeah. Uh, I would choose alone. Alone, okay. Life here is a noun, and you say that alone can stand before a noun, uh, really? <laughs> lonely, lonely. Yes. Lonely. See, see, you made a mistake here. Be careful. Right. He wrote an angry or annoyed email, right? Alive no. or okay. He wrote an uh, annoyed. You sure annoyed? Remember, annoyed, annoyed tends to describe angry, emotion. Uh, and we email to protest about the use of li, uh, um, life animals, no, life animal in scientific research. Use of alive animals. I don't. I, I think this word should be live animals, not alive animals. Like alive can only stand in uh, after to be. Okay, can, alive can only stand after to be. Right. Next. She is wearing an an quill. Yeah, antique. antique. Yeah, antique. Antique, antique. meaning uh, meaning something that is quite ancient. She is wearing an antique silver and Russian necklace. I think okay. both are correct. Both are correct. Okay. Thank you so much. Right. Right. Okay. So in the next class, I'm going to do this activity at the beginning of the class. Okay. Next class, I'm going to do this at the beginning of the class. Um, so tomorrow we have class at three, right? We have class at three. Yes. Um, so how can like can we move that to? I'm I'm trying to ask you to move to uh, four, but that is not possible for me. So yeah, just stay at three. Just stay yes. at three because I have something to do at 
uh, at 4:30 i i think that might not be uh, uh, might not be a good time for me to move but it's okay i can manage don't worry i can manage yeah right. okay so in the next class i'm going to use the, this topic to to discuss at the beginning of the of the lesson okay right thank you so much okay i will see you again on uh like i will see you again tomorrow and in next class we will be studying the the new lesson okay yes right thank you so much i will see you then bye 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 see you tomorrow